guys assalamu alaikum i hope you all are doing fine today i'll be sharing with you all a very easy and delicious recipe of persian love cake as the name suggests it's an exotic cake but very easy to make so let's look at the ingredients together let's start here i'm showing you some caster sugar there's some ground almonds that i grounded at home here we also have some ground cardamom that i did myself with some sugar very easy to do in your coffee grinder you can do that with pastel and mortar as well very easy to do and here we have some all-purpose flour we also have some bicarb of soda as well as some baking powder here we have some edible rose water we also have some eggs and some melted butter you can use butter at room temperature as well i just melted it in the microwave and it got all melted so it's fine and we'll also be needing uh, some uh, lemon and i'll be zesting it we'll be using its uh, juice as well we'll also be needing a bundt pan i'll be writing down all of the ingredients along with their measurements in the grams as well as in the cups i'll be also listing down the size of the bundt pan so don't worry here i'm going to first mix the cardamom powder along with the baking powder bicarbonate of soda and our almonds uh, to our all-purpose flour we're just going to mix everything together and we'll be keeping it aside at this point you'll also be needing to add some salt if your butter is not salted uh, mine is salted so i'm not going to add any so now it's time to add our sugar to the melted butter we're just going to mix everything together basically uh, if yours uh, is at room temperature you're going to cream it so i'm just going to mix it and uh, then we're going to add our eggs one by one Now in goes our fourth and last egg and then we're going to give another mix and we'll be adding our zest and lemon juice next. I'm going to add the zest and the juice of our lemon to the rose water so that all of the liquids go to the egg and butter mixture together. Now comes the time to add our dry mix to our wet mixture. We are going to do that in batches, won't be over mixing, just going to do it till uh, the dry mixture is incorporated. Make sure that you don't make any mess did the way I did it. Sometimes few little accidents happen in the kitchen. I wanted to share with you all that that does happen with me too. Here the plug was loose and I forgot that I haven't turned off the beater and look what happened. But it ha it's all right. We cleaned up the mess. I usually do that while uh, cooking. I like to keep the uh, cooking surface or workplace really clean and i uh, do that uh, between cooking as well you do that too because that uh, cuts down the time of cleaning and you know it uh, doesn't get a lot of hassle later so uh, once we are done mixing we're just going to bring our bunt pan we'll be pouring our mixture to it um in meanwhile uh, while we were preparing our oven was preheating in the back we are preheating it uh, at 180 degrees uh, and i'll be writing down in the fahrenheit and gas mark as well in the description box as always and we'll be letting it bake till it's all done and while it's uh, baking i'm just going to show you that what we'll be needing to decorate our cake here is some uh, powdered sugar i've added uh, a few parts of cardamom to it while i was uh, grinding it 
Here we have uh, some pistachios. Uh, I showed you some dried uh, roses that I dried myself in the oven. This is some homemade rose jam. This is the first time I made it and uh, because we have a lot of roses in our garden so I wanted to you know use them somehow so I made it a, a, a jam. I, this was a, a recipe testing so next time when I do that I'll be definitely sharing the recipes with recipe with you because guys it's really tasty. So this is our baked cake. We're just going to let it cool down completely and then we're going to decorate it. I did that next morning because I wanted to uh, make sure that it was fully cooled down. Now here are all of the ingredients that I showed you. There's an orange, we're going to zest it. We'll be using its juice as well because we're going to make um, a drizzle soda. The uh, same way I showed you when I made my orange pound cake, the recipe of it is on my channel already. I'll be linking it here so that you can get, get you guys can go and have a look at it as well. So one of my most uh, popular cakes and uh, I make it quite often as well as my lemon drizzle cake. So I'll be suggesting that you guys do watch it. So here I'm just going to make a glaze sort of. Uh, just add that it has a pouring consistency and it's not too, you know, uh, like stiff. So we're just going to, you just uh, saw that how it should be. We're just going to drizzle all over it. Nothing too fancy because this cake is full of flavors, but at the same time, it's not, you know, too um, time consuming or needs a lot of you know fancy tools to decorate it. This cake is originated from Iran, Persia and there's a story behind uh, the origination of this cake. Some stories suggest that this cake was originally made by a woman to charm a Persian prince. Legend also has it that the cake itself is enchanted with hints of rose and cardamom studded with nuts like pistachios and almonds. Persian love cake is love in every bite, no doubt. And uh, some say that there are two endings to the story. In the first, the prince returns her love and they la live happily ever after. In the second, he doesn't. And uh, in my mind, I think that this woman consoled her heart by eating this cake because I'm telling you that this cake is so indulging that you'd be loving it with your cup of chai maybe in the evening but i'd suggest that this is an afternoon cake and not an after dinner cake so if you're having tea parties at home uh, you must make this cake impress your guests your family my dad loved it uh, he gave me 10 on 10 so i'm very really proud of that so here i'm decorating the cake with the, all of those goodies i showed you earlier I'm really in love with this cake and uh, I might be making it again really soon because just by looking at it right now I'm craving it again and when I shared the short of this uh, cake uh, people were guessing that maybe I'm making you know a cake for my loved one well I did made for my loved ones uh, for my family and they really I loved it. So here I've decorated uh, the cake with some fresh uh, roses from my garden as well. You guys have seen the uh, pictures of my roses uh, on my Instagram as well as on the community tab and uh, I'm sure you guys loved it. So here uh, the final look of the cake and that's all for now. I hope you guys are going to like this recipe. We'll be making it uh, on any occasion. You can uh, make it for tea parties. You can make at uh, birthdays or for, you know, any occasion to celebrate. When you do, don't forget to leave the feedback. As always, all of the ingredients and their measurements along with all of my social media handles are mentioned in the description box below. Please keep liking, keep sharing and commenting and do subscribe if you haven't already. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that notification bell on. I shall be back with more really soon. In the meantime, take good care of yourself and of your loved ones. And don't forget the less privileged ones. Bye for now. Allah Hafiz.